Hello, welcome to another gas video, not so long after the last one, and uh, try to catch up a bit, because I like to stay only about a month behind, and sometimes I just forget to do gas. So, gas is genuinely approachable Sudoku, and these come from the Daily Puzzle channel on the Discord server by Philip Newman, Clover, and Sam Kappelman Lines. Um, <coughs> and they are brilliant setters of genuinely approachable puzzles. Do check it out if you want to see them as they come out. Now, also things you can check out are our apps, which have puzzles of this sort of standard, and a little more difficult as well, but uh, not too hard normally. And uh, they're all available on the links under the video, along with Patreon, where you can find the monthly competition, along with, um, and, and loads of other content, along with Sven's Sudoku Pad, the um, fact that we're launching a new Kickstarter book, we're very excited about and uh, all sorts of things going on so check that out but uh, first of all the first 10 links because there are two to each puzzle one in our software via a tiny URL link and one in um, one in F puzzles for people who can't use tiny URLs. so those are all available under the video I am going to read through what was said on Discord about these puzzles because we can sometimes learn something and we got the rule sets and then I will attack the puzzles one by one. So we start with The Countdown Killer by Philip on, uh, this is from September the 10th. The mystery of the missing 15 clue deepens. On Thursday, some nefarious fiend subtracted a clue from Clover's puzzle. Ah, oh, if you want to know what that's about, check out the last gas video, Clover's um, little killer puzzle and the comments section of the video. Today that same fiend is subtracted from all the remaining clues. Who is the killer? Will we even follow up on this plot thread despite not having any puzzles in testing that are remotely related? Does the title of the puzzle give away the killer or is it just a red herring? Find out tomorrow, same gas time, give or take a couple of hours, same daily Sudoku puzzles channel. Today's gas is a little killer Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along the indicated diagonals must sum to the total given and may contain repeats if allowed by the rules. So those highlighted cells add up to 14. And the dinosaur, it, there are two hat times and one hat times for quick solves. The dinosaur that you get if you don't achieve those is a lesser Lufengosaurus. And then we move on to puzzle two called Count the Odd Ones. Clover says, today's guess contains an odd number of odd digits and an even number of even digits. So do all 9 by 9 Sudokus. What's more, each and every 3 by 3 region also contains an odd number of odd digits and an even number of even, even digits. As is true for all 9 by 9 Sudokus. And if you colour the grid in a checkerboard pattern, starting with a black cell in the top left corner, each digit appears an odd number of times on black cells and an even number of times on white cells. Didn't know that. Type subscribe odd even Sudoku facts for more funky parity facts. Is that really true? That's fascinating. Excellent. Excellent work, Clover. Today's gas is a count the odd one Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. If a digit appears in a circle, it tells you the total number of odd digits along the attached line, not including the digit in the circle itself, which may be odd or even. So... If these, well, I don't know, let's do that one. If those were both odd, this would be a two. If they were both even, it would be a zero. Probably not gonna happen. If one was odd and one was even, that would be a one. Wow, okay, never seen that before. The dinosaurs are parasitic Psittacosaurus, um, which I think is from the Latin for a parrot. Um, anyway, then we go on to the next puzzle. Extra Regions by Sam. Today's puzzle's a little later than usual because it's been a bit busy today. See if you can decrypt the second spoiled image to find out where I've been today. And I've been given the image unspoiled. Well, I mean, I think it's a sonogram. Either that or it's a, it's a blurred radar shot of, uh, of an area of ocean that I would never be able to identify. So I might be congratulating Sam on his wife being pregnant. Today's gas is an extra region Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply, and each grey region also contains every number exactly once. 
The dinosaur is an expectant Eocarcaria, and I think that means congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Cattleman Lines. Um, wow. New child on the way for Sam. Well done. Right. Um, we move on to... That's exciting news. I didn't know that was coming up. We move on to Summitry by Philip. Um, in yesterday's live stream, someone asked what GSP is. Welcome to Sudoku Terminology 101. GSP stands for Girth's Symmetrical Placement Theorem, named after a forum user who developed the technique. Wow, I mean, do we need we You can't need it. Anyway, let's read what he says. GSP says, if a puzzle has symmetrically placed digits and or constraints, and it is known to have a unique solution, then the solution must be symmetrical in the same way. If the puzzle has an asymmetrical solution, applying the symmetry of the given's constraints will result in a second distinct solution. However, the unique symmetrical solution transforms to itself. You're right. Um, there is a link to an old Cracking the Cryptic video explaining in detail, which is better because you can't do Girth's um, symmetrical placement justice in words. And I will try and remember to post that link um, so you could look at the video and understand it. This is one of many uniqueness techniques which only apply if you know that the puzzle has a unique solution and do not prove that the solution is unique. Very important point. Well made, Philip. No gas puzzle will ever require a uniqueness technique, he guarantees, but they can certainly be useful for solving puzzles faster when they apply. That's true, but nonetheless, I will not use them for this series because even though I'm trying to solve as fast as I can, Part of the point of the channel is to prove the uniqueness of the solutions, and we will keep doing that. Today's gas, a region sum line Sudoku is not fully symmetrical because of the line in box five. Oh yeah. Um, so no GSP for you, but you may still find the almost symmetry very helpful. A hint there. Normal Sudoku rules apply. There are some lines in the grid and each line passes through more than one of the three by three regions. Along each line, the digits in every region it passes through have the same sum. So that digit is the total of those three, which is also the total of those two. That's what we're talking about. The dinosaur is a jubilant Jacklapalosaurus asymmetrica. Some, sometimes you just stumble into the perfect dinosaur for a puzzle. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. I think you would all, it would be fascinating to watch Philip, Clover and Sam searching for appropriate dinosaurs and, and discover in their brains what they consider appropriateness involves when selecting the dinosaur. Anyway, we move on to the fifth puzzle. We're all slowly degenerating into an undifferentiated primordial sludge along with the rest of the universe. Cheery. So why not enjoy a bit of Sudoku along the way? Today's gas is an entropy Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply in every two by two square of cells <coughs> must contain at least one low digit, one medium and one high digit. And the lows are one, two, three. The mediums are four, five or six. The highs are seven, eight or nine. The dinosaur is a disorderly Dahalakili. And I'm going to have a break and get a drink so that I can talk while I solve. So sincere apologies if I fail, failed to cut that bit of dead time out. <laughs> let's hope I did um, right we are going to get cracking start my clock every time see how I do let's go um, mm, I can't do that 14 I can do this one 6 and 8 so this is very similar to Clover's puzzle in terms of setup anyway that's also 6 and 8 I can do those now that now has to be a 6 let's do this 9 5 pair yeah so all those 2 cell 14's done now 761, not the only. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've already done wrong. So that was right. That was right. I said 987 makes that a 6, and that was wrong. So let's take all those out. This can't be 6, 8, so it's 5, 9. I forgot that 5. See, I really was still stuck in that 15 genre, even though it was days ago. Um, that is 5 and 9. There we go. That's better. Ugly start. Right. These two add up to 10. 9 and 1, they can't be, so they must be 3 and 7. 
these two add up to 13. It must be 6 and 7. Now, I can do Sudoku down here. So 6 there, these two add up to 8. They must be 1 and 7 now. And what about some Sudoku at the top? Ah, not quite doable. Down the left, two, th two or three there. Mm, let's see what these possibilities give. Oh, they're going to have to be four and three to allow a seven in there. That was very helpful. Okay, um, that's become a seven. That's a three. Now we can finish off some eye wings around the perimeter. Two there. One, two, and five here. Eight, seven, six tripled down this group, which is not what I was expecting to see. Three, five pair there. Eight, seven, six, four, three. Oh, come on, come on. This is. I feel like. Oh, the, there are more clues. Use all the clues. I did that last time. Uh, those have to add up to six, so they're two, four. That's a three. Now, is there a 14? Yes, there is here. Three and 11 is two, nine. Uh, that's a one. Now, let's, we've got another one. Seven, nine, ten, plus three, plus one. And up here, four, eleven. That's a one, two pair to make the 14 work. This is such clever construction, actually. Four, five, six. These add up to eight. But that, the only low number it can be is a three. Wow. I think this is going to be a quick time because I don't, even despite a little slip or two, I mean, I'm not, I've been on to everything that's going on, I think. So, or maybe I've just been using all the clues, which is probably the simple point. Oh, I do actually, I think I remember that 987 set up from Clover's puzzle last time. The similarities that Philip manages to cook up into these puzzles are just extraordinary. Um, when he sort of either copies somebody else's or works in collaboration with them to create a pair. It's, he's a very brilliant guy, I have to say. Um, even if I'm not always on his wavelength. But today, in this puzzle, I have been, and we are done there. 3 minutes 52. <clears throat> Actually, it felt a bit quicker, so... I'm quite happy with that. Right, let's have a look at this Count the Odd Ones. Very interesting idea. I don't know what to expect. Let's go, though. Well, the lines aren't very long, so the numbers are never very big on the circle. So that's one or two. I mean, this is not the way to solve the puzzle, but still, that has to be one, because it can't be two. And that one. It's not very helpful with their lines, I will admit. But still, maybe maybe just reducing these to their possibilities will, will do some Sudoku for me. Right, so those are the... I mean, I don't know. This is not the way to solve it, guys, but it's what I'm doing. I don't think that's told me anything useful about those lines. Um, so I'm really just trying to do Sudoku now and uh, work out where numbers go. Which is what we do every day, you might think. There is a 5 on that line. Oh, and there is a 3 on it. That's important. So that must be a 2. Okay, interesting. And the others on it are even. Um, don't know how to use that. One of those is a one. Sorry, missed pencil marked. Um, now, can we do the same here? There's a seven on this. No, we can't. <clears throat> There's a one down there somewhere. Three and five are on that. Could could that? Yeah, it's not helpful. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I mean, I'm also seeing. Oh, this three. I hadn't really seen that. These are all odd, aren't they? Ah, that is interesting. 
I hadn't seen this line at all for some reason. Why is that blind to me? Don't know. 179, that is a naked 5. Right. It's just rechecking the rule set in case it said all the digits on a line had to be different, but it doesn't. Um, so that's a 3-5 pair now. So this is a 179 triple. Now that's quite interesting. That means all of these are even. I'm going to color them now. So that's odd and is a 9. And that's odd and is a 3. My goodness, that's incredibly helpful. And totally weird. And look, 35179 across the middle here as well. So that's even, and it's not 3 or 5, which are now a pair in those cells. Oh, this is strange. That's a 4 by Sudoku. 354. One, nine. one of those is odd, and it's not that one. It's this one. It's a three. This is fascinating. Clover, you are a genius again. Five, four, three. So nine, three, five, one, seven, four. Two, six, and eight still to place. That's even. So this isn't a four. It's also not a three now. It's a two. Now, I do want this still to become Sudoku at some point, because then I can do it. Um, that's not a three, and we can only have a maximum of two odds there. In fact, that isn't odd. One, oh, I don't know. It can't be four. It's two. Right. And they're probably both there and being five and seven. In fact, that is a five by Sudoku. Oh, I don't know. Um, four, six, seven. Now, this can't be four because there's an odd number on it. That's a one, two pair, so that becomes seven. Again, the puzzle throws up something, a way of solving it that I'm not expecting. That's the only place for four in the column. That's not a four. We've got four, six, and eight to go in both that row and that column. That's interesting. That's even. Don't think that proves whether this is one or two yet. That can't be four, actually. We've got six, eight, and nine to go. Now, that's even. That's odd. That's a nine. That's a one. It's been available for ages. Two, six, eight as a... In fact, that's two, six, eight. We've got one and nine. I'm not going to get the two hats this time because this puzzle has been very confusing to me. One, three, nine, five. We've got four there specifically. Got to have another or digit. It could be nine or it could be seven. Three, four, five, two. Come on, come on. Keep going. Seven and nine are done. These are from five, six, eight. Nine, three, two, five, six, eight. This is a four, seven pair. Yes, it is. Four there, seven there. Now, that's even, odd, even, that's even, that's odd. There we go. Yeah, that has to be very helpful. That's not an eight. Now, three and five in column two. Still can't do the one and nine. That's a six. Right, that row's done. Four, seven, five, three, eight. We need a two in this box. It's got to be there. That's even, that's even, so that's odd, and this is odd. <sighs> even though the symmetry has been sublime, the deductions have been individually straightforward, and the puzzle has been totally fair, I have found this extremely difficult to get a head round. And well done if you didn't feel it was like that. Um, seven, eight, that's a two. I like this a lot. I mean, it's a really interesting constraint, rule set, and implementation. And uh, just yet again, proof of how good Clover is. Six minutes, 31. Don't know if that'll get the two hats. Can't tell. You'll be able to tell from the links under the video where I will have put the two hat times. Right, extra regions and Sam, congratulations again, especially to your wife, and let's go. Okay. And three, five, four, six, seven, two, six, seven, eight.
Ah, okay. The the rows with six digits were not very helpful. Right. This is helpful. This cage needs a seven, a nine, a three, and a two. And I bet I can do them all. Yes, I can. That is the law of leftovers applying in the middle. Now let's keep doing the law of leftovers. Five, six, and seven need to be in these edges. So there's a six there and a seven there. Uh, five, I don't know. Three, four, and five. Three must be there. Five must be there. One, two, and three. That, hang on, one, two, and three. Um, yeah, one and two have to be here. Should have started in the top left. Three goes there. That is the same as that. I'm going to color them. Um, <clears throat> now down here, seven, eight, and nine. Nine will be in one of those. It doesn't actually give me that much more than that. Okay, but two, one, three, two and eight in this column. Eight there, two at the bottom. That means one of these is a two. That's not interesting. Five, six, seven. That is, that's a naked four, given everything it sees in the cage box column. That is a four. Weird. Um, that might be helpful. Yes, it's yellow. So that's a four. So we get five here. That place is five here. Now, four has to be in one of those with three. This is the same as that, which is one of these two. It's not two or three, so it's the same as that. Has to be six. Weird. That's probably not how you're meant to solve a genuinely approachable puzzle, but it was useful. Seven, nine, two, one, five. So four, I don't know. Six is there. In the column, uh, yes, in the column is what I meant. That, in fact, is a naked eight. Good Lord. So three, four down here. Now we've got eight, seven. So that's an eight. This is a six, five pair. Law of leftovers again. Do look that one up if uh, if you don't know about it. Three, six, nine. Oh, I thought that was proof. That's a six. This is one or five. Now, seven, eight, and nine. Those seven, eight can't be there, so they're down here. Eight, seven, that must be the same as that. Coloring again. Can it be three or four? No, so it's the same as that. Four, eight, three, five, six, two, seven, nine, all impossible. That is a one. That gives me nine here. Five and eight in the center. Uh, one and four. Let's not make a mistake now, because I think this solve has gone particularly well. Five there, six, five, four, nine, two and eight at the top. Three, four, five, six, eight, in fact, is there now. Seven, two, nine. Hopefully that leaves seven and nine being right. That's a four, which fixes three and four. Now it's just boxes nine and seven to do. Two, six, three, four, three. Three minutes 50. That's a good time for that puzzle. That's quite... Yeah, I'm pleased with that is all I'm going to say. Um, just as I was displeased with my solve of the clover. Let's move on to Philip, my former nemesis. <laughs> Dare I say that? No. Let's try this one. Region some lines, I like this. So these, I'll tell you what, they have to add up to a multiple of three to maintain that rule. So these must have been a multiple of three, 14. So this is one, four, or seven. That's just weird, but I'm gonna do it again here. Same deal, same numbers outside. So that is four or seven. Uh, same here, isn't it? Yeah, five, no, diff no, same numbers outside, so that's one or seven, and here that's four or seven. Okay, that's weird. I hope you followed the logic there. Um, this, with a three on the line, that is six, eight, or nine. And same here. Doesn't have to be the same. Now that is six, seven, or eight, so is that, and that, and that useless marking. 
Uh, this one can't be a six, nor can that, because of the four on the line. There must be a one in one of those cells, so that's a seven. Okay, must be a one in one of those, so that's a seven. So now it's eight on the line. Must be four, one, three in both cases. Two, six there makes the line work. That now can't be a six. Uh, can we be looking at seven, one, two, four? No. No, we can never, in fact, be looking at seven on this sort of line in this shape, weirdly, because one, two, four doesn't leave a seven sum in two cells. So eight sum in two cells is two, six now. That must be three, four. That's a seven. I'm sure it's going to be the same over here, but I don't presume it. Yes, I can, because it can't be a six. It is the same. Right, that's three, four, that's two, six, this is a seven. So lots of symmetry about the perimeters. Now, one, four, and five here. So the one has to be on the line. Mm, that's not six anymore. It's going to be the same down here. Good old symmetry, and that's not a six anymore. What did I say? Not a six anymore. Right, this is six, eight, or nine. There's definitely, oh, what is this line? One, three, four, or one, three, five. So it's not a six again, and we get a two there. That fixes six, two. That's probably gonna be the same up here. It is one, three, four, or five, giving eight or nine. Two there fixes six. That's a one, three, four, five triple, which is quadruple, which is quite interesting. This is a six, eight, nine triple, one, three, four. Two, ah, no. Things have gone very wrong here. Since I put that two in, those twos were wrong. Okay. Where did I start there? Okay, that was all right, but this is not a two. Eight, seven, five, two, six, and one, three, it's not. So it's four or five. And the same was true up here. Okay, recovered, four or five. So we've got a four or five pair looking in all sorts of places. We've got lots of them. <coughs> and it's actually, it's true here as well. Let's do that first. So then these four or five pairs, let's just color them so you can see them. They're knocking four or five out of all sorts of cells. Let's start there, then there, then there, then there. Then we can do that. Um, and this. Wow. And that is, in fact, this is going to be where three is now, isn't it? I've, why have I written two there? Hopefully that's just a misprint. It is. Gosh. Losing the mind now. Um, so that's still a one. That's a three, therefore. I'm using these four fives. Right. And I think we're going to get four or five in these outer corners as well. And that's a one. Yes. Okay. So that's all right so far. <sighs> Honestly, it would help if I didn't make any mistakes, but then maybe I wouldn't be actually human. Three, four, five, one, eight. So here we're selecting from two, six, seven, and nine. So the two has to be on the line, and therefore that's a six. Hopefully I'm not doing something wrong with twos this time. It's either two, six, or two, seven, and that's therefore either eight or nine. The same is going to apply here. Two, six, or two, seven, that's eight or nine. I mean, we've got a lot of symmetry going on. That's two, six, or two, seven. That's eight or nine. Now, it gets interesting here. Oh, we've got an eight. So nine, eight. Uh, there has to be a two here. There does still, yes. It's got to be two, seven. Right. Which is going to make this central disambiguating line get a lot of work done, finally. Ah, no! If I put a 4 in here, it clashes with that. If I put a 5 in, it makes that not work. Oh, Philip, why am I going wrong on this puzzle all the time? Let's go back to where I said about the 2s in this column. There has to be a 2 on that line. There has to be. So this is right. That is 2, 6 or 2, 7. That is 8 or 9. It's 9. 
because there's an 8 in the row. Let's try and take it back here and see if we get this right now. 8 there makes a 4 there, makes a 5 there, makes a 9 there. I mean, I could have gone wrong before this point. I think that has to be 2, 7 now. That's right. This is a... But how can that be a 9? Eight one two seven. How has this gone wrong? Oh, this. Yeah, they they both have to be. That has to be a nine for its region sum line, and that one has to be for the row. Same down here. What on earth have I done wrong? I'm sure I was all right up to. Four fives in the corner. I mean, this must be right, mustn't it? And yet it won't work after this. That pair has to have a two. Can't be two six because of that. Has to be two seven. I don't think I'm going to recover this now. Seven three one four five. That's eight or nine. Am I actually going to have to start again? How can this possibly work? What am I misunderstanding? Oh, this is bad. I probably am going to have to go back to the beginning. Right, let's unwind totally. Start it again, see if I can spot the wrong logic. Can't do anything else. I'm doing it this way so I don't have to restart the clock. I'm going to get a dinosaur on the puzzle. But, but, let's see if I can do it. Right, four on the line. So that is eight or seven. It can't be seven because one, two, four makes that impossible. So it's 8, 1, 3. That same logic applies down here. 1, 3, that's a 2, 6, that's a 2, 6. That has to be right. These are 7s. Um, now, 7 again can't be here. 6 won't work because 1, 2, 3 won't leave a low digit available. So again, it's 8. And that must be can it be 1, 2, 5? No, that leaves it impossible. So again, it's 1, 3, 4 and 2, 6. That has to be right again. And I'm going to do that over here. And I still think that's right. Now, <clears throat> maybe it goes wrong here. I've got 1, 4 and 5 left to place in the box there and there. 1 must be on the line, which is now either summing to 8 or 9. Now, maybe it's about these. These don't have a 2 on. Or a 5. They must be 1, 3, 4. How can it be anything else? Maybe that's my whole issue. 3, 1, 4. I've still got a 9 to put in the box. Why did I think that was part of a 4, 5? Oh my god. Okay, well that's where it went wrong. That probably applies up here. It does 8... 9, 3 there, and a 1, 4 pair. Oh, good grief. What a numpty. I mean, I, when I'm looking at the diagram going, what's gone wrong? I must have been just not having a 9 in this box. And that's just humiliating. But there we go. Sometimes these things happen. You just have to be the bigger man. 9... Shameful. At least I understand how it works now, I suppose. Uh, now, there's got to be a 2 on this line. Yes. So, but I don't know what it is. It's with 5 or with 7. So it's actually 2 and 5 makes 7. That's now a 7. I bet this is 2 and 5 as well. It is. That's 6. This is 7. And that's going to be 2 and 5 as well. It is. 6, 2, and a 7. The symmetry is beautiful, and I botched it up the first time. <coughs> what a shocker. 
Right, now these two add up to seven. They're two and five yet again. Even though the symmetry is not applying to this line. Now these add up to seven. They're one, two, four. That is much more feasible. And I only have left to finish off and to cry softly into my beer. Nine there, um, three, five, and six to go. Loads of pairs, and they are resolved, so just get on with it. Five, two, three, one, three, one. In fact, even the six, eight pair is resolved, so boxes two and eight are now finished. <clears throat> Well, I've sometimes called Philip my nemesis, but this had nothing to do with Philip. It's a beautiful puzzle, by the way, but it's just botched every which way. Uh, I presume that's dinosaur time. I haven't sneaked in for one hat under 12 minutes. I, I wouldn't deserve to. You never know, though. <coughs> anyway, nice puzzle, Philip. I'm very sorry. <coughs> Let's have another drink. And we'll take on the fifth one, Entropy Sudoku. So each two by two has a high, low, and a medium. I mean, that's not really subject for gas. Oh, I suppose it is physic in physics terms. Right, uh, that is a naked single. Now, I like that sort of thing. 752, that's not. That is 2961758. That's three or four. Um, but it can't be three by the rule. We need... We've had two low digits, so we need the others. Right. In fact, maybe the rule is now going to be helpful. That has to be low. That has to be middly. That has to be low. But it's, yes, it's three. Okay. Um, let's finish off this box. Let's see if we can do these corner boxes now. Because some of the Sudoku is just happening. Five. That five looks up here, does all the other bits. Five, three, six, eight, six and nine. Now the rule is gonna help us. Yes, we need a middly one in the top left. There we go. So that's all the corner boxes done. I might, I might be able to avoid the rule for the rest of the puzzle, which I find fiddly. Um, middly digits and fiddly rules. No, I probably can't. So three, eight, I'm going to put in these triples because they'll probably help me solve. One, four, eight, and then I'll start looking for the two by two boxes and uh, the entropy. Two, six, seven, three, four, nine. Okay, so now what? Let's find a pair or something together. Five, three, six. So we need a high digit there. Um, we need a high digit here as well, weirdly, because we haven't got one in those. We need a high digit in these two. Yes, that's an eight. Okay. And we need a low digit in this two by two. So, okay, that has to be middly. <laughs> this one has to be high. Yeah, this is the way to do it. This has to be high. This has to be low. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. You, you have to just use the rule. You have to swallow hard. Get used to it. There we go. Now, this one. Don't know. I need a middly one. No, hang on. Five, three, four. So we need a high one. That's a seven. <clears throat> then we've got medium and high. One of those is low. That's not useful. This has to be low. Three there. The seven is doing some Sudoku work up here. Now this has to be middly. I'm going to constantly use this entropy rule now to punish me for trying to avoid it. Uh, we need a low now. I don't know how do you do that. No, six, seven, two. We need... No, we've got them all. Five, three, five. We need high. Nine three right. And that's going to look down and do four nine. That's going to look up and do four one. That's going to look down and do eight one. This has become a nine. This has become a seven. I'm glad I pencil marked those. I might be able to get away with Sudoku for the rest now. Five three. Might not. Two six eight left to go. I know where the eight goes. It goes here. 
Then I've got these two six pairs left to resolve. Oh, what's going to do that for me? Um, no. 488, eight. that's going to do it. This needs to be low. There we go. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. And at least I got that one done. 3 minutes 50. Well, one aberration and uh, some puzzles solved. Does happen occasionally. Mm, end up kicking myself, but there we go. Great fun as always, and I love doing the gas puzzles. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.